someone who was in the formation committee and so I saw a lot of applications come through from the Federal Association. Uh, I've talked to many people from all over the regions of how they do, how people with discernment. And in some cases I kind of scratched my head because it seems like they're recruiting for a, I don't know what they're heavily recruited. Uh, other people, they're like, what? what? Formation. And you kind of scratch your head. Now, fortunately, we have, in my opinion, some good people to help form people. And Terry White is he's phenomenal. And I would, I would say that if you weren't here, and if you didn't, have, and if you didn't give me that $50. <laughs> <laughs> I still say it. I mean, Terry, when he was Hoss Fiddler, I watched the way he formed people, and it was amazing. Uh, I wasn't always a, really a member of the Northern Virginia region. I usually went up into D.C. because at the time, Northern Virginia really wasn't growing. And then all of a sudden, they had all these people, and it's like, what happened? And it, it was really, it, Terry was really pushing it. But I also saw how tired he was. I mean, he was doing everything. And then finally, he asked me to kind of, when, when someone calls about the order, could you call them and talk? So I'm talking from the perspective, I, I mean, there's, I remember talking to Paul and, and Brett, and I think I talked to Mike. I don't recall I'm that. I'm not really uh, sure. <laughs> 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 So I, I've talked to a lot of people. I also helped, when I was on the formation committee, help put together the sponsor's guide and the candidate's guide, which I'm going to talk about a little bit. I, I, it wasn't from scratch. We took a, many different regions had formation books. And so I got what we were using in Northern Virginia. I think it was Atlanta, Lancaster, uh, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, and there might be one or two other regions. And we kind of took and looked at this and, and pulled the best of the best and pulled it into the Federal Association's guide. And to me, they're really good. And they just updated it in March and they made some really good additions. So I'm going to talk from that perspective. Now, this sheet of paper that you just got, 90% of it, well, probably 99%, came from either the sponsor guide or the, or the um, candidate guide. One of the two. I added a few things for Laura. So this is just a, a quick cheat sheet. These two documents right here 
you want to download them. And I gave you the URL, and you can download them. And I give the candidate guide to people discerning because it's good information. And some people it scares away because they realize this isn't a club. This is not just show up once in a while. But I remember when I, I came to the order in a weird way in that uh, Ann was in a lot back in 2004. And you all scared me, quite frankly. I mean, <laughs> nobody is as nice as you all are. I, I'm, I was in the corporate world. No one was as nice as you all. And when we went to Lourdes, I actually got an international driver's license. Because if I couldn't put up with you all, I was going to rent a car and we'd go drive in the countryside. <laughs> That's a true story. But I, I went to Lourdes and I fell in love with, with, with the members. And so we got home and I asked my, who became my sponsor, Hugh Dempsey. I said, hey, I really want to be part of the order. And he went, that's nice. <laughs> and a few months went by, and I called him up. I said, Hugh, I'd really like to be part of the order. And he went, that's nice. <laughs> and I called him like a month later. And I said, Hugh, come on now. He goes, look. I don't need people that are going to write big checks. I need people who are going to get their hands dirty. And I said, that, that's good because I got three kids getting ready to go to college. I'm not going to be writing big checks. But I can get my hands dirty. And so uh, I think there was a period of time where some folks thought this was an honor. Oh, I'm, I'm in the order of Malta. I'm in the order of this and the order of that. And they're in all these orders. Like they're, I call them joiners. There, there are joiners out there who just want to put another ro rosette on their, on their lapel. And that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for people who have a, a, an honest care for the poor and the sick. And who have a deep faith that they want to protect and defend. So that's what we're looking for. So you can read this, but I'm just going to look at some of the highlights in yellow. You know, we want people who are going to make the order of Malta their spiritual home. They're still going to be part of a parish. We still want them to participate in their parish, but this really needs to be their spiritual home. And people who support all the teachings of the church, you know, with matters of faith and morals, not some of the teachings of the church, <laughs> Well, I'm good except for this, this, and this, and I'm not going to mention anything because I don't want any emails. <laughs> but you have to support what the church teaches. And I've met people who don't, and I'm not going to point fingers. Now, we also need, if you look at F, 2F, applicant has participated in work or spiritual activities, the order to gain a deeper understanding of its charism. I'll get a call from, yes sir. So on this issue of spiritual home, this question comes up. Now, spiritual home. Yeah. So people can have more than one home. Yeah, so it's a spiritual home or a spiritual home? Question number one. Question number two, what does that mean for people who either are or once they become nice or interested in being members of other organizations? You have to look at what each of the organizations are. The Christian Order of Holy Sepulchre is a ecclesial order. The Order of Malta is a religious order. Knights of Columbus is a fraternal order. Mm -hmm. They're different things with different charisms. But if, if someone says, yeah, I'm, I'm really in the Knights of Columbus, and I'm really going to spend all my time there, but I want to be in the order of Malta. Well, this is supposed to be your spiritual home. You're supposed to do your work of charity here. 
I'm not saying you're excluded tonight, Columbus. I'm saying when push comes to shove, <clears throat> he's the side with Dewey Ramon. If that makes sense. Now, if you have, if there's a, an order that asks you that you're going to have a religious superior, outside of Order of Malta, that's really not, that would be their spiritual home, not this. That's, that's my opinion. Be a spiritual summer home. What's that? Be a spiritual summer home. <laughs> <laughs> spiritual ski house. I have, I have one home, that's enough. <laughs> if you look at, so, I'm supposed to, you know, if, if you have a, if you have someone who's interested in the order, have them, have them give me a call, I'll talk to them, I'll go visit them, I'll have lunch with them, whatever. Whatever I need to do to get them the information to see if this is something that interests them. But what I'm not going to do is try to talk them into it. I never have, and I hope I never will. Because this has to be something they discern for themselves. Now, every once in a while, I'll get a call from Laura. And she'll go, I'm going to make up a name here. Hey, Chip, I have, a, I have an appointment with Sally Sue next week because they wanted to give me their application. You haven't told me about Sally Sue. And what's my answer? I, I haven't Sally. heard of Sally, Sally, Sally Sue. I've never heard of her. Or, hey, I'm, I found someone who's really interested. They'd be great nights at Dave's, and, and, and I'll be their sponsor. Hey, Laura, could you be their other sponsor? And Laura's going, I don't know who you are talking about. Because I'll get about I'll get the sponsor in a minute. The time to meet your hospitaler is not when you're meeting them to get the application signed. Three days, four days? Well, like a week. <laughs> 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 I, I remember Sorry, Brad and Brad and Brad and Brad and Brad and you called me when was that September or October? September or October. September twenty seventeen. Yeah, September twenty seventeen. He goes, Hey, I, Grazie and Brett, I want to, we want to join the Order of Malta. Well, that's great. Let's get together for dinner. Let's go to Clyde. We like Clyde. Clyde's a good meeting. So, so we got together and we talked, and I asked him why he wanted to join, and they had all the right reasons. And I said, great, well, what have you done with the Order? Well, I haven't done anything with the Order. Okay, well, let's get you in, and let's get you engaged, and let's get you seeing what we actually do. And so we're not going to put your application in this year, we'll put it in next year. And that will give you a chance to meet people and find a, a second sponsor. Or two sponsors if you don't like me. And I'm good with that. So Brett came to everything. I mean, he, went, he came to everything. He came to the masses. He came to, to large. He, he has a pen pal. He, I mean, he, he came to everything. And he went, yep, this is something I want to do. And now he just was invested on Saturday in the class of 2020. So it takes like three years, two, three years. And people say, well, that's a long time. Well, how long does it take to make temporary vows in the uh, <laughs> Order of St. Benedict? Mm -hmm. It's like six, eight years in some cases. So we want people to make good decisions, but we want them to be engaged with us before they make that decision. I've also, you know, I, I, I was on the formation committee, and, and we get these applications at the end of the year. Well, this person hasn't done anything, but he's very important. You don't realize how busy he is. <laughs> and my response is, I'm sure he's really busy doing great Catholic things, but he's really not in the order of Malta. He's over there in that group. So. At the end of the day, you're looking for people who want to do the works of the order, who want to take care of the poor, who want to take care of the sick. It's not all about going to Lourdes. I love Lourdes. Lourdes is so good for Anne and me, because she was in Milan. I love going to Lourdes, but you want, everyone wants to go to Lourdes. But who wants to go to the soup kitchen with his with sister's charity? Who wants to go to Larch? Who wants to go behind the prison walls? That's who we're taking care of. So, you can pull me anytime you want. 
but you do become a member of a religious order. You don't become a member of the religious order in the same way that a knight of justice does. They take vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. They don't become a member of the order the way Terry and I have, made, making a promise of obedience. But nevertheless, the third class, you are a member of a religious order. And you never can forget that. When people see you, and they know you're in the order of Malta, now you really have to watch what you do. <clears throat> if you screw up and they know you're in the order of Malta, bad things happen. Okay. On the flip page, what do you need to do as a sponsor? Bad page break there. You are the person for your applicant. You need to get together with them on a regular basis. You need to share the order. You need to go to things with them. You don't just sign the paper at the beginning and sign the paper at the end and think that's done. You take on a big responsibility to walk with that person through their formation process. And I've seen some of you that sponsor people, I'm going, I was, I was that good. I was like, look, here, Mike, sorry, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Brett and I did a lot together, but I, I look at some of the sponsors, and I'm thinking, dang, these people are good. So your job is to walk with them, participate, go to the spiritual things, go to the service, get them engaged, introduce them to people. It's a lifetime commitment. And I'll tell you, if, if um, somebody that you sponsor doesn't pay their dues, guess who they're gonna come and call? You think they're gonna call the, per the, the person who didn't pay their dues? Uh-uh, they're gonna call your, their sponsor and say, why is this person that you sponsored into the order of Malta not paying their dues? Hmm. This better not be sponsor anybody. Well, I could go that far. <laughs> and so the initiative really is with the sponsor to reach out. It's not just throwing them at, hey, Mark, put them on the distribution list and, 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 and never think about it again. It really is following up with people. It's caring for them. It's walking with them. Now, we talked to several people who have an interest in the order. And if some of the, you are thinking about sponsoring anyone, uh, applications are due on uh, November 5th. And that application takes more than a day to fill out. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta gather information, you gotta get wet signatures, that's, that's a term I use, term. I heard wet signature. What's that? Yeah. I can't be electronic. Yeah. A, yeah. a real yeah. signature. A real signature. Like, like, with, yeah. like with a real pen. Yeah. Yeah, real pain. Original. Well, it is an old order. Isn't it? Not crayon. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to get oh, together with on, both sponsors. We don't use the sponsor has to write a letter. <laughs> <laughs> they have to get together with Laura in her copious spare time. <laughs> at the bookstore. At the bookstore, at the coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> How many books do they have to buy? How many books do they have to buy? West Virginia. <laughs> so wherever. West Virginia. Track her down. So, so if you're thinking about sponsoring someone, you need to be moving on it now. When's the deadline for 2022, or for uh, November? 2022. For the class of 2024. 2024? November something. November next year. Okay. Yeah. It's a good time to start now. Start now. Yeah. 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 Get into yeah. activities. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you know, this, is a lot, this is a lifetime commitment. Sure. So yeah. it takes an extra year to get in. Oh, what can you do yeah. as a knight or dame that you you can't do as a candidate. Let's see, you can't go to the member's luncheon, spend $50 for chicken. Can't, 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 not even have that this year. <laughs> Just a meeting this can't year. Can't wear a robe. Yeah. And that's about it. Don't have a cool lapel pen. <laughs> the candidates can do anything. Yep. Some people have a, well, that, that's a lot of money. Well, most yeah. religious orders, when you join, you have to give away everything. 
but you want to tell people up front so they don't get embarrassed later. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of conversation. And guess where you can find that conversation? Bolt Sussex Sussex candidate Sussex. guy. What's <laughs> 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 the up you today? $4,500? So, but this will walk you through it. Download it. Download. Now, I don't typically print this off of people. Now, a good sponsor probably would. But I don't. I, sit, I, I have it on my Google Drive, and I send them the, the link. Mm -hmm. And they can download it themselves. And we're off and running. And then we get people like you that show up all the time. And, and it, you're probably the wrong people to talk to. We probably need the, the people who hopefully are out there in Zoom land. <laughs> so are there any questions? Man, I'm good. <laughs> Charles, Come on, Charles. You always have the first question. He already asked the yeah. question. He asked yeah. the question. Yeah. Yeah. Second yeah. question. Yeah, but that was before the Q&A. <laughs> <laughs> Chip, I, I do have a question, actually. Oh. Some, some, I've heard some others talking, and I don't feel that they've been in the order long enough to be a qualified sponsor. They recommend that you remember the order for two years. Okay. That's recommended. Okay. It's not a hard and fast rule. If you're, in the member, if you're a member of the class of 2020 with all of that you went through, <laughs> Yeah. You probably could be a pretty good sponsor. Class of 2021, I'd probably wait. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That's good. But if you know a good candidate, right. talk to somebody else right. in the order that you know. Right. Right. And yeah. just say, hey, I think this guy may be, or gal, may be interested. Yeah. Because that discernment time will take time. And you don't right. really need candidates. I mean, you don't you need, need a sponsor to be a discerner. Right away. You can discern right. that. So you might right. be need taking a year to discern. <coughs> right. And while they're discerning, they can come to you're getting to know people that can mm -hmm. sponsor you. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I think because I've talked to a couple people that are interested, and I, I, not to uh, nitpick at the definition of discernment, which is almost like a free discernment, where, <laughs> you know, if you're like a Knights of Columbus person, you just can't say, well, it's the same thing. It's not. It is very different. And, the Knights of Columbus, you know, you can turn that paperwork very quickly. Right. Whereas if they're coming from that world, coming into that, they, they don't understand that. So I, I kind of give them wide berth initially and say, let me help you walk through kind of a pre -discernment. And if you're really still yeah. interested, come talk to me more. I'll pass you off to somebody. And I, I think that's that's important because you don't want to walk them into a corner, he or she, where they're like, wait a minute, I didn't really understand this. Just right. give them literature, you get them a chance to come here or talk to other people. And I think that's that's helpful because yeah. it's not meant to be a, yeah. you know, all right, 12 months I mean, today. If you look at Knights of Justice, first yeah. they're aspirants, mm -hmm. and then they're novices, yeah. and then they make simple vows, mm -hmm. and then they make permanent vows. Well, this takes several years to get through. Right. Uh, you go to a Benedictine monastery, you'll see people walking around in street clothes. Well, who are those? Those are the aspirants. Yeah. And after maybe a year, they get their mm -hmm. um, habit, the outside of their habit. They don't get the, they don't get yeah. the scapular yet. They don't get the, they, they get the, they don't get their cow. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. the yeah. Thing? Yeah. Cow. The, the yeah. cow. Yeah. It's a process because they don't want people to make final vows and then leave. We don't want people to join the order and then leave. We just don't. That's why we take a while to help people get. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. So, Chip, speaking of which, we've been through a really tough couple of years, and I hear from some people that they're concerned about continuing to pay their dues. Like, someone said to me, Well, if we don't go to wards this year, I'm going to think seriously because what are my dues going for? And I said, you know, did John Lavillette turn coat and run? You know, I mean, come on. If, if, if you're committed to the order, 
you're committed to praying through the hard times and mm -hmm. trying to do the work that we do right. in spite of, mm -hmm. but, but I get pushed back on the do. So could you talk about that a little bit? Because I think there's a lot of misunderstandings about what that, what the that all means. are, well, there's two types of dues. There's the Federal Association dues, and then there's the regional dues. To me, you need to pay both. Yeah. Regional dues aren't much, so they're like $100 a year, I think. Right, right. right. yeah. Okay. yeah. They're $100, and the, and the Federal Association dues are 1650 okay. Now, you want to know what that goes to? Read the annual report. Yeah. yeah. You just yeah, received it in the mail. Sure. Right. Right. That's a lot of stuff. I mean, when we cancel awards, it costs money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know when people that are on the board know how much it costs. It wasn't cheap to cancel that, mm -hmm. that trip. And we still have work going on in the book. Yeah. So people say, I want to pay dues. Did you commit to the order or did you? It's real simple. I think there's three things you need to pay. One is federal association dues, two is the regional dues, and three is make a contribution to the annual account. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Now, how big a contribution? I, I look at some people's contributions because they print how much each can I go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, God bless them. That number one, that they have those resources, and yeah. number two, that, that they're, they're that willing them. to share that much. Yeah. Other people, they give five hundred dollars, and that's what they can afford. Mm -hmm. Some people give two hundred dollars. What they ask is that everybody gives something. No time will they say we expect everyone to give five thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. They won't say that. All they'll say is we want everyone one hundred percent participation. And so, it's the it's the conversation you have with people before they come be, they become members of the order, not after they're members. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're. I won't say that. Good. I mean, life is about decisions, right? Mm -hmm. For me. I don't have a job. I'm not complaining that I don't have a job, believe me. Uh, I'm kind of retired, kind of not. I'm just having fun. But I don't have as much money as I had two years ago. But to me, this is my spiritual home. Making this contribution is the, the top. It's not something I say, well, if I have enough money left over, and in my mind, God doesn't bless the leftover money. Mm -hmm. It's the money that you give when it can the be a struggle. Mm -hmm. It's the widow's mite. Mm -hmm. The widow's mite. I'm not telling yeah. you to give your last penny. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, what are you in? Are you a member of this order or aren't you? And so I, I, I don't have a lot of patience with I'm, you know, Rome made a decision. I don't agree with Rome. I'm not going to pay my dues. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Does that help? It does. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 